When the news crew arrived at the scene of the incident, it was discovered that the boys' quarter of a house located at number 15 of Bioweka Street, Benin City, was raised to the ground by fire. It was also learned that a dusty fire service was earlier on the ground to put out the fire, but succeeded in curtailing the fire from spreading to other apartments. Household items and property including documents for the occupants could not be salvaged except for food mattresses and generators. The devastated occupants of the building said there was no electricity supply on Thursday morning when they left home for work. But were told that when it was restored, the power source triggered sparks that eventually led to the disaster. The fire victims made passionate appeal to the government of Edo State and other kind-hearted Nigerians to rescue them from the ordeal of starting life all over again. They said as soon as the neighbor brought the light, you know, the wire was packing. You know, before they knew, there was fire everywhere. And at the end of it all, everywhere burnt down. Before the fire service could come, there was nothing to bring out of the house again. When I woke up this morning, there was no light, so there was no need for me to even put on anything. I practically used touch to do everything that I was going to do. Only for me to go to work this morning, and my security was calling me that the house is burning. All my documents, everything is inside the apartment. <laughs> Some residents said it is not the first time this happening. As they said, most of the electrical appliances were also damaged due to power surge. The light they brought this morning, everything, you get to my house, you bought everything, everything is broken, so I don't know what to do. The one that happened this morning, the thing first went so low, and before you knew it, it came so high, like my bulb, all my electronics in the house, I had to quickly off my things. And when you're de dealing with private companies, they're supposed to be diligent and efficient in their duties. In some instance, when they bring light, they destroy your properties because of the kind of light they, they, you know, they, they bring in. We can't take laws into our hands other than to beg the state governor to intervene in these situations. Because little things trigger. We've had answers so that we will not have end BDC. A mind drama, however, ensued when a BDC vehicle conveying an officer was intercepted by angry youths. The BDC staff, Mr. Anthony F.A., who declined camera interview, however, came down and took an on-the-spot assessment of the damage and promised to challenge the reports to the appropriate company officials. Ferdinand Osakwe, ITV News.